to Are You Smarter Than a Sunday School Student? We have a fun contestant here today. Miss L, would you like to come to the stage? Would you like to introduce yourself, Miss L? Yes, my name is Miss L. Very nice, welcome, welcome. Today we are studying the book of Jonah. We are in fact reviewing because we've been studying it for the last couple of weeks. So, here we go. Jonah was a prophet. And God told him to go to Nineveh to teach a message of repentance, which means to say you're sorry. Now, Jonah did not want to do that because the Ninevites were scary. So, he ran away from God to Tarshish. Sheesh. And he got on the boat. And on the boat there was a storm, and the storm was so crazy wild, just like that, crazy wild, that the sailors were afraid. And, and they said, Jonah, we need your help. We don't know who started this or what to do. Is this something that we can fix or who, what, where, when, why? And Jonah said, this is caused because I was disobedient to my God. Whoops. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, what do we do now? The sailors asked, what do we do now? And Jonah said, throw me overboard. Da! They said, he said, throw me overboard. So they threw him overboard. And a big fish came and swallowed him up. Jonah lived in that fish for three days. Stinky, smelly, gross. Woo, gross, gross. Anyways, so then that fish threw him up on the shore. Ooh. And then God said, Jonah, you really got to go to Nineveh this time, man. And then Jonah actually did go. He preached that message of repentance to say you're sorry. He walked through Nineveh and said, you got to do this and you got to do that. And you know what the Ninevites did? They did. They did just that. They repented. And you know what else? Jonah was not happy. But you know that because you read. You read the Bible. Jonah was not happy. He sat on a mountain and pouted like a pouty pout. Meh. Because God gave them grace. He gave them grace, just like God gives us grace today. How nice, how lovely, how wonderful. So now, Ellie, Miss L, in fact, are you ready to answer some questions about Jonah? Yes. Great, wonderful. I have a f great first question that is worth one point. Um, what was Jonah's first name? Jonah. Very wonderful, very nice, very lovely. It is Jonah, in fact, indeed. What was Jonah's favorite food? Meatballs. I would like to believe it is, so I'm going to give you one point. Now, last Ooh. question that's worth one point. Did Jonah have a pet dog or a pet cat? False. Jonah had a goldfish. I like the creativity, so I'm going to give you another point for that. Now, this question that I'm going to ask you right now is one million and two points. Are you ready? Yes, I'm to see him. Okay, fantastic. The question is, who was the most important character in the book of Jonah? Oh, I know this one. I mean, the book is named after him. It's Jonah. You think that'd be correct, but it is in fact incorrect. It is not Jonah. Would you like to phone a friend or try again? Yes, I would like to phone my friend Meg really fast. Oh, okay, all right. Ellie, I can't talk right now. I'm hosting a game show. Oh, well, um, that wasn't much help, but, hmm. um, well, I mean, I've heard some people call this story Jonah and the Whale, so maybe it was the fish? It is not the fish. No, it is not. Would you like to try one more time? Yes, yes, um, um well, I mean... Like you said, Jonah went to the Ninevites and told the Ninevites that they were supposed to say they were sorry for all the bad things they did. Mm -hmm. And then the Ninevites mm -hmm. did say sorry. They really meant yes. it, which was really yes. cool. And then they trusted God, and yes. God forgave them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that was really awesome. Mm -hmm. So, the Ninevites? That is incorrect. The correct answer is God. Oh, the most important character in the book of Jonah of is in course. fact God. Because throughout the whole story we see that God is merciful. He is loving and he is compassionate. That's your answer for today. Thank you so much for tuning wait, in. Wait, 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 once again, I just have one question for you. Alright, of course. Uh, game show yes. 
Yes, um, so is God compassionate towards us or just towards the Ninevites and Jonah? God is in fact compassionate towards us. Isn't that wonderful? And in fact, we get to be compassionate towards one another. That is really cool. I know, I love thank that. Yes. Well, thank you for turning in, tuning in to Are You Smarter Than a Sunday School Student? We will see you next week for, t for the sandwich making competition. Thanks, thank you, thank you, thanks. All right, kids, the big question. Does God give us compassion? And should we give other people compassion? The big answer is yes to both of those. God gives us compassion every day. In fact, he gave us compassion when he died on the cross, right? He saved us from our sins, which is amazing. He gave us that second chance. And now, because of that, we have the opportunity to give other people a second chance. We can tell other people about the great news that God is has saved them from their sin too, if only they repent. Just like how the Ninevites repented in the story of Jonah. We have the chance to give other people a second chance, telling people the good news about Jesus. Isn't that amazing? And we have the chance to give other people compassion every day. Maybe when somebody is mean or unkind to us, we can give them something called forgiveness. We can give them a second chance because God gave us a second chance. Just like he gave the Ninevites a second chance and Jonah a second chance, which is so awesome. And that's why God is really the hero of the story of Jonah. He's the most important character because he gives compassion. All right, guys, it was so fun learning about who is the most important character in the story of Jonah. And now you can tell all of your friends that it's God. I'll see you again next week. Bye.